Manjuanaf, Founder and Chief Executive Officer of Niramai Health Analytics. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Good morning, everyone. Mr. President, Secretary General, distinguished ministers, ladies and gentlemen. It's a privilege and pleasure to have been given an opportunity to talk at this podium. I am Geeta, a computer scientist with PhD specialization in artificial intelligence, and now a social entrepreneur as a founder and CEO of Niramai Health Analytics, where we have pioneered a new way of detecting breast cancer using artificial intelligence, using radiation-free thermal scans. Breast cancer is the largest cancer killer in women today. It is the top cancer in 159 countries and second in the rest of the countries. Over 680,000 women die every year because of this disease. Many countries like India and other developing countries show 50% mortality rate. Every alternate lady detected with breast cancer is dying. Breast cancer is completely curable. Nobody needs to die of breast cancer. The only reason we are losing so many women is because of late detection. In many countries, including India, we are unable to provide a population level screening program with technologies like mammography, ultrasound, MRI. It is not feasible due to cost of the equipment, skill needed for performing the imaging, and shortage of experts to interpret these images. Hand examination is the standard way of doing population screening for breast cancer today. Hand can only detect a two centimeter or three centimeter lesion, which is stage two or stage three. Result, 50% mortality rate. This is a global issue. In order to address this issue, at Niramai and in India, we have developed a new technique for detecting breast cancer called thermalytics, which is available at a fraction of the cost and requires minimal skill to operate. The test is portable, so it can be taken out to remote areas, corners of the world, to screen women for this dreaded disease, detect early, detect in stage zero. Furthermore, the test is radiation free and is done in complete privacy of the woman where nobody touches her or sees her when she's not wearing the clothes. It's very, very critical to have everyone screen for breast screening. The test is, of course, clinically validated and regulatory cleared in many countries, and we have seen excellent performance results across these more than 120,000 women who have benefited. This is just one example how innovations using technologies like artificial intelligence can benefit the society. In this forum, I urge the ministers, policymakers, and the representatives of different countries. For each of your countries, please consider implementing a country-wide screening program for detecting early cancer, mainly early breast cancer, because it is the top killer in women. Women form the central core of the family. When the lady of the house is sick, the whole family is in turmoil. If women is healthy, the family is happy. So addressing this largest killer of women, in my opinion, should be the top priority of the summit of the future. Using techniques like thermalytics also enhances the effectiveness of SDG3 for health and well-being, 
SDG 5 of gender equality and SDG 10 with reduced inequalities because this test can be performed at home and will probably help us all achieve the goals and the milestones much faster, much earlier. While keeping the core focus on women's health and breast cancer, I would like to also mention the need for women empowerment. In general, this could also be a topic of discussion. How can we enhance the support structure needed to bring more women in STEM? Support women innovators like me and entrepreneurs who need support to solve women's problems and the world's problems. I require the allied committee to kindly deliberate these issues during the summit of the future. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share my views. Thank you, Ms. Manjunath.